Oh yeah, we're here at DCA to do some more early Christmas shopping. And you know what? We're actually gonna surprise my mom and aunt with some early gifts. But first, coffee. Now let's go shopping. Woo! As we look around, DCA is all decked out for the holidays. And starting this weekend, Festival of the Holidays kicks off. Since we're here at Hollywood Studios, let's start off shopping here at Gone Hollywood. Right off the back as we walk in, dude, Gone Hollywood is all about the Christmas season. Check out this rad Christmas sweater, dude. You got Mickey Mouse, Pluto, Minnie. Now you can get these ears to match it, but wait, dude, they have pants. Here's some other awesome Christmas stuff, dude. Here for the ladies and gents, you can get this sweater. As you can see up here, for the little kids, they have this nice jacket, dude. This for sure keep you warm. And in your kitchen or in your bathroom, you can get this Mickey soap dispenser. Plus, I'm loving these ears. You can get this Mickey Mouse sweater for $54.99. They have pajama sets for the kids and the adults. Digging this long sleeve Christmas shirt right here. I'm for sure going to have to pick that up. And look at the sleeves, dude. You have a Mickey Mouse on this sleeve and Minnie Mouse on another. Dude, look at this year's Christmas lounge fly, dude. I'm really liking the peppermint theme. And as you can look a deeper in, they actually have peppermint sticks. And they have a Mickey Mouse a gingerbread man on there. Dude, they have a long sleeve turtleneck shirt. You know what? I might have to get that for my mom and aunt. Now, these Crocs are really cute for the kids. Too bad they don't have them for adults. And the Christmas spirit jerseys are really festive this year. Liking this green corduroy shirt right here. And this one's pretty cute too. Mickey and Minnie can never go wrong with that. Now, Eva is a fan of warm socks, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a pair of socks for her. Now, this is rad, and I really like that they do have this. This is a DIY ornament kit set. In here, you're gonna have your Mickey Mouse ornaments that you can put some stickers on. You have your markers that you can color on it. They also have this DIY card kit. I mean, that's just fun for the whole family. Now let's make our way to the opposite end where they have a Mickey Mouse and a Minnie Mouse doll. Look, they have some more pajamas for their adults. They have this cool th uh, throw that you can get for $59.99 and that's the design that's going to be if you love baking they have a bunch of cookware they got cookie cutters mixing bowls these which I believe you cook bread in and down below some souffle bowls I think they're souffle bowls on the left we have a tree skirt and in the middle we have stocking stuffers and this decorative pillow and they have an a plethora, I mean, an a plethora of tree ornaments. This is off subject about shopping for my aunt or mom, but you can find dude, these Walt Disney World classic slip on uh, van shoes, dude. And the design on these are really, really cool. Let me go ahead and open this up. Look, dude, I mean, seriously. I'm honestly thinking about buying me a pair of these, and these are only $69.99, dude. Disney vans for $69.99 from Walt Disney World. Now, I did find two items here that I think my mom and aunt would really like. So we got our bag of goods. Let's go outside and surprise my aunt and mom. There they are, and they're not expecting it. Two weeks in a row. Surprise. You guys ready for some cool stuff? I got you guys some stuff. You guys ready to see it? We're gonna go with my mom first. Mom? Got you some ears. Um, and I got you a turtleneck. And auntie, the rest is yours. Merry early Christmas. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she got her socks. <laughs> yeah. Happy early Christmas. Oh, wow. You got the jacket. Oh, wow. 
and you got the matching thermal shirt too. Oh, oh wow, Alan. Yeah. Wow. Oh, <laughs> now you guys are ready for the holidays. So I think my mom and aunt really did like their early Christmas gifts. And this is why I like the Christmas season, dude. It's not about receiving gifts. It's about giving back to others and people that you love and appreciate, dude. And seeing the joy on their faces. Now, I did get something for Eva, but I forgot to get something for Brody and Sophia. Now it's time for Big for Top Big Toys! Top toys. Big Top Toys has a lot of cool stuff for the little ones, but let's start with Sophia. Now, Sophia does like these little toys, but she loves Disney dolls, dude, especially princess dolls. And you can get these princess dolls for $26.99, and they have a lot of them, dude. I mean, a lot of them. And one doll that she likes right now, one Disney princess that she likes right now is Tiana, dude. So let's go ahead and grab her a Tiana doll. They also have these Encanto dolls, the Frozen plushies. And back here, you're gonna be able to find a lot of plushies. Now they have a couple of things in here that I think Brody would like. Like this Star Wars era, he probably would like the Mandalorian or Boba Fett. But they do have all these Toy Story toys over here and he does love that movie. Uh oh, look. They got a croquet kit, dude. And if you guys did not know, I did learn how to crochet. It's not croquet, it's crochet. Sorry about that. I did learn how to crochet a couple years ago for the kids. I would really like to get that. But look at this, dude. For $49.99, you can get this Woody's Roundup. Now, let me go ahead and open this real quick and show you. Look at that. Now, I would specifically get this just to collect it man this is really really cool but we're talking about brody and from what i see in here i don't think brody is gonna like anything in there but i do know of an area where brody will like something but first let's go ahead and purchase this for sophia so i only meant to walk out with sophia's gift but i saw two things that i know my mom would have liked and this is the Hercules throw, dude. Look at this Hercules throw. And you can get this for $74.99. Let's go in a little deeper so you can see the decal. This is gonna be the decal of the throw. And one thing, if you guys don't know something about my mom, she loves ears, dude. Like, she has a massive collection of ears. And I would know she would love this ear for her too. So I want to go ahead and grab these two, but she doesn't know that I got these for her. Now one more stop on the Christmas shopping and then we're gonna go eat. Now he has been on this Marvel kick ever since we started watching Doctor Strange. So I know exactly what to grab. And just future references for me, this store is the collector's warehouse. We're gonna head to the back left corner where they have some toys, dude. Now they have a bunch of toys. Um, let's go ahead. Should we get him the Doctor Strange toy which talks? Look, look, ready? Let's push the button. Well, this one doesn't talk, but I bet you some others do. Or should I get him this, dude? A Spider-Man web shooter. You know what? I think you'll really like this. Oh, I don't know though, dude. They have this Iron Man repulsor glove. It lights and sounds. Oh, dude, I don't know. That's a hard one, bro. Spider-Man web shooter or the Iron Man with lights and sounds. This one might be dangerous because she might he might shoot his sisters. This one is on the safe side or a bow and arrow. No, you know what, that one's really dangerous, but he really has been asking for that. Spider-Man or Arrow? Spider-Man or Arrow? Well, we did grab Brody's gifts. Let's see what it is. You guys ready? Oh, dude, check that out. I did get him the Spider-Man web slinger. Guess what? Dude, they have a soft opening today of the Festival of the Holidays. We're gonna go grab some food from this year's Festival of Holidays, dude. I'm so excited. And here is our very first food item. This is the Holiday Ham Slider. We get a little bit closer, dude. You got some cranberry up there. We have some ham and you have some cheese. Let's dig into this. 
So that ham holiday slider was pretty good. The bread was really soft. You got that nice smoky and saltiness flavor from the ham. But what evens out this dish is that cranberry sauce. You get like, a little sweetness to it, a little tart to it. That right there is easily going to get a 7 out of 10 for me. And you can get this here at the Winter Slider Land, dude. I guarantee you, you'll enjoy that. They also have a brisket slider that we'll try next time. We already ordered everything that we want to try today. The next stop is going to be right here at Grandma's Recipes. Here's the two food items that you can get at Grandma's Recipes. Now, the one on the left is going to be the Impossible Meatloaf and Mashed Potatoes. And the one on the right is the Pumpkin Layer Cheesecake. Dude, I am a sucker for cheesecake and it is a New York style cheesecake. First food that we're going to get into is the Impossible Meatloaf, man. As you can see right there, you got a big fat piece of meatloaf, mashed potatoes and gravy. Now, I am a huge fan of meatloaf. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with the mashed potatoes and gravy, which I really like. You had that nice homemade feel with the russet red potatoes. The gravy was nice and thick. But now let's talk about the meatloaf. Now I'm going to be as nice as I possibly can with the meatloaf. It really reminded me of meatloaf that I would get in the military straight out of an MRE packet. I'm going to go ahead and give this meatloaf, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Now the only reason I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 because it is a soft opening and there are room for improvement. Now let's get into our first dessert of the day and that is the New York style pumpkin cheesecake and I love cheesecake. Right here we can see the layers of the cheesecake. At the very bottom is a very traditional cheesecake. At the top is where you're going to have your pumpkin and the pumpkin flavor is full of spice dude. This is really really good. I really enjoyed this pumpkin cheesecake. So far this is my favorite thing at this year's festival of the holidays. I'm going to go ahead and give this cheesecake an easy 9 out of 10. And I recommend you grabbing this when you're here. The only thing that's sad is my aunt and mom will never know what this tastes like. Go, 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 go. <laughs> but one thing I'm excited about, man, they have a pork belly adobo located at the Holiday Duets. And there's the pork belly adobo, dude. Look how fat that piece of pork belly is. They got a bunch of fat in there. Look, I didn't even think it has some chicharrones in there. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Whoa, dude. This tastes like my grandma's adobo. I can highly recommend you trying the pork belly adobo when you're here at the festival of the holidays at DCA. What I like is the amount of garlic that is in the rice, dude. It really popped, but the pork belly adobo was good. You can taste the vinegar in it. The soy sauce flavor is there. This is solid. Plus, look how tender, dude, this pork belly is. That pork belly adobo for me is getting an easy 9 out of 10. Now for our last item of the day. Last stop of the day is going to be here at Favorite Things and we're snagging the Mrs. Claus Hot Cocoa Macaron dude. That thing looks delicious and this is inspired by the Disney Plus series The Santa Clauses. This hot cocoa macaron was delicious. Now the outside of the macaron was nice and crunchy while the inside of it was light and airy. But when you're talking about that hot cocoa mousse or whatever that is in the middle, dude, it is really, really sweet. And you get that nice hot cocoa flavor. Kind of reminds me of like a Swiss Miss hot chocolate. This macaron for me is going to get an easy nine out of 10. Glad that we got to enjoy a soft opening today. But you guys are going to want to stay tuned next week when we will be back here at DCA to do some more food. Thank you to every single one of you for you coming out today for this holiday Christmas special. Now remember, we cannot do this without every single one of you. So thank you for every single one of your guys' support. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and go down below and subscribe because I would love to have you on future adventures. All of you have a great day and we will catch you next video. Deuces! Deuces.